Post, what's Pat, and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about custom games or custom servers coming into Fortnite Battle Royale. So the rumor has been out there and it has been 100% confirmed by Epic Games because we've seen Twitch streamers doing it. Custom games is going to be coming to Battle Royale. Now, custom games is going to be on a PC and I cannot guarantee that it's going to be on console edition, but I can 75, well, 75% of me says that it's possibly going to be on console edition so i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can join a custom game when it's released i'm also going to show you guys exactly how to set up a custom game and kind of talk a little bit about it is it a good thing is it a bad thing is it going to reduce population and exactly how does it work so let's talk about how you can actually join a custom game right now so on screen right now you can see the first screenshot i have here this is from a twitch streamer called dr lupo i think that's his name anyway and he's actually recorded this so credit to him i will link him down below but let me show you guys exactly what i mean by this so what have you got to do to get in a server? Now, the first thing you've got to do is you have to have the same region as someone. So the region right here is NA East. So he's got his set as North America East. Now, obviously, if it was me, I'd have set it. I've had mine. Well, I've always had mine set as EU, and that's the one that I'd probably use for this. So if you're coming from a different region, you may have a higher ping, which is kind of the downside to this, but we'll talk more about that later on. So step two is you actually need this custom matchmaking key, which is at the bottom right when you're actually searching for stuff, you press down here and you get access to it. So once you're on this, you can actually change your matchmaking key to match other people. And what it does is people with the same key will get put in the same game against each other. This is used for private matches, tournaments, and other custom games. So it's gonna be like a one set key and stuff, and people are gonna be able to create like servers type things using this key to all link together now i don't 100 percent know exactly how it's going to work someone's going to obviously create like a custom game using the server keep it on lockdown keep it on spectator and make tournaments and stuff like this and obviously this key can be hidden from people so you guys can create private matches so for example if i want to do a match with all my friends we could possibly play a solo game with all our friends in it now there's a lot of stuff to discuss about it that i'll discuss in a minute is it going to work and stuff and things like that but i'll show you guys one final thing the final thing is to get into a game as you can see on screen right now you're going to need to be on the same game mode so you're either going to be solo duo or squad depending on what everyone is using the key for and what it's going to be set for so you have to be on the same game mode for this to work and that's the way it's going to work unfortunately so we're going to have to see exactly how that's going to happen but let's talk about this is it going to work or is it not so servers is something that i've always wanted in minecraft now i used to be a minecraft youtuber and currently i've been covering fortnite like mad and it's something i enjoy more fortnite but servers is something that have always been a little bit iffy we look at battlefield for example you have to pay to rent your server you get access to it and you can rent your server then you look at other games like arc survival you have to have a separate console to run your server or you can rent them on the pc side of stuff where people can connect to so let's talk about it fortnite wise now how's this going to work now this is what we make this is what makes me think slightly that i can't see it coming to console console because they're going to have to have free servers for us to connect to to play on unless they manage to input like a local host type thing maybe for less player count on console side of stuff we don't exactly know i can personally see this feature only coming to pc and the reason for that is because pc is a lot more powerful than most of the consoles and there's the option to actually rent servers and things like that and custom games so youtubers can set up custom games that epic games may allow them to rent servers for certain tournaments and things like this i don't know the exact policy that they're going to put in for this but we'll have to see on exactly what that's going to be but then this comes down to the idea of private matches and stuff like that would you be able to boost xp from this would people be able to cheat their way to the battle pass maybe just by grinding out games quickly maybe you've got eight of you and you're starting the game with eight people you all drop the same spot or kill each other quickly and keep grinding xp maybe you've even got two of you and you just keep killing each other to get the win bonus and keep doing that over and over to get xp yes this would be a long daunting process but possibly a lot of people would consider doing that to rank up their battle pass now simply they could just quickly remove xp from custom games which is probably what they'll do but it's just little things like that that i do worry about with custom Custom games coming into the game now custom games itself will it have the option for us to actually edit the game and change the game mode or pick different game modes and stuff like that and the answer to that is currently i don't think that would be the case custom games is just simply like hosting a tournament match mate uh, with your friends and things like that we're gonna have to exactly see how that's gonna work the good thing about custom games though i can imagine twitch tournaments being amazing uh, being amazing there's gonna be a lot of stuff out there fortnite wise on the competitive side of stuff that really is going to like up its game now with fortnite being a competitive game it's not as easy as you think to manage with the game having 100 people in one game i can't see 
too many tournaments being hosted unless they've got a lot a big budget because it's not as easy as you think to manage 100 players to get them all online at the same time especially major tournaments and then major tournaments that are big prize pools potentially if the right sponsors are in there and there has been some good major tournaments in the past on other games like destiny that i've seen prize pools of into the thousand dollars easily for people to win at who are just casual mlg should i say or not casual gamers but people who like to take their game into like the next level professional level and get a team and stuff and i have seen things like that happening i can see fortnite squads being much more reliable than actually a solo type thing uh, for the tournaments and stuff but private matches are cool as well and other custom games they do mention the idea of other custom games now who knows exactly where that's going to be maybe you can alter this within servers and stuff and i think custom games is something i'm going to be consistently covering on my channel until it's set in stone now obviously we don't know if it's going to be 100 percent right yet or if it's going to be a little bit dodgy but we'll see what's exactly going to be happening i personally think it's going to be a pc thing up for at least until summer i don't see it coming to console straight away and if it does come to console they'll probably have to rent servers maybe you could buy servers with v bucks for example so maybe it's like 400 v bucks and you get access to a server for maybe 24 hours or i don't know the exact price maybe 240 v bucks so that would be like 10 v bucks an hour and you get access to a server or maybe a little bit more maybe it's going to be 50 v bucks per hour i don't know it'd be really cool though just to be able to rent a server for a temporary amount of time i think that would work quite well i think because servers aren't renting a server will be a lot easier than hosting it off your own server just because you're actually using an epic game server and then they'll have to put a lot of free servers out for this because many people will probably be doing this and it's something that people will maybe pay their friends to like share a server type thing so maybe like eight of my friends are all around i'm all giving each other maybe a pound so we can play the server for a while and then we all go home host it up maybe like three hours later say and we like we play the game for i don't know just like five six hours depending on how much money we've raised to host the server just for all us i can see something like that being potentially quite interesting within the game and it, this might cause a lot of like controversy and stuff because obviously if it's people paying for servers and stuff they may be a bit a little bit confused and not 100 percent sure why we have to pay for them for private matches and stuff but we'll have to see exactly the way epic games take this i can't guarantee anything for you guys um obviously i know that custom games are coming and i can guarantee that that custom games are coming into the game and i can see it coming in around easter time for pc and it's actually already implemented for certain people on the pc side just not everybody and then console wise personally my prediction is summer for that uh, i can't guarantee it being any sooner i I just don't, well, I, it could become at any time, but I personally think it's going to be summer because they're going to have to work it out and 100% understand. It. They've got to really understand what's going on with it because it's not going to be as easy as you think to be able to kind of process it and get it all right and get it ticked off for them. Because it's quite a complicated concept processing in and understanding exactly how the game well, potentially could work because the game isn't as easy as you think. So it's good well, uh, to program it, as we can see, <laughs> not to play. To play it is quite easy if you know if you're certain standard but like to process the game to actually like write the code in it's not as easy as you think as we could see we've had all them server issues and things like that so we're going to be we're going to really have to like consider what's going to be happening with custom games and it's something that you should keep your eye on within the community and i'm hoping to keep it covered on my channel so if you are interested in that i will keep mentioning custom games a little bit as it starts to get closer to the date because it's something that really could stand out within the community and change the game completely introducing custom games can make the game so competitive and that's what people want not everybody wants that and you don't have to take part in competition within fortnite personally i don't think i'd be a competitive fortnite player i just love enjoying playing it like casually and just getting like videos and ideas out to you guys because that's just what i enjoy doing on fortnite but other people may enjoy it competitively some people play it casually it's all opinion based and the game can be played however you like it so it's an awesome game and i think definitely the competitive side to it really would make a good like show or twitch thing to like spectate i'd personally spectate it especially if it had like a world championship or something uh, but the, the time and effort putting into something like that may be quite difficult but it could be worth it if someone got it right so i think it would be awesome to have a fortnite championship they'd have to i'd love them to involve all console versions as well not just pc so they'd have one on xbox one on playstation and one on pc where you're forced to use an xbox controller and forced to use a playstation controller not mouse and keyboard yes there are a bunch of people out there who have got mouse and keyboard set on xbox or playstation it is possible to do there are systems out there that can do that which is kind of frustrating but that's just the way it is and that's just the way the game is going to go in the future so we'll have to exactly see 
what Epic Games are going to do with that. And in mind, in my opinion, Epic Games are a great development company and they will get custom games right. So with a little bit of luck, we can imagine custom games being amazing. I am buzzing for custom games, even if it even if it takes a while to come to console version. And hopefully it does come to console version because I don't play the PC version. I am absolutely really excited for it and I actually can't wait to try it out. So hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are new around here, stick around for some Fortnite content news because I just love to cover Fortnite news all the time. I also been covering a load of other tips and tricks on my channel as well which i highly do recommend checking out if you are new around here there are some amazing tips and tricks over there that can help you guys get victories pretty easily i am doing a bunch of cool stuff on my channel recently and hopefully we can get 50,000 subscribers as soon as possible and beyond current goal aimed at that 100,000 subscriber mark i'm pretty sure we could do it as a team so if you guys are new around here stick around i love talking to you guys in the comment section tweet me at postbots part best place to contact me on my twitter hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again, this is Postbots Pat, signing out.